But I just want to show you that I went in the Salvation Army recently and checked out their range of DVDs and what I found is the box set every single episode of Goma Pile USMC. Golly! I walked in when I, and I saw this sitting in the shelf and I said to Helen, surprise, 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 because Goma Pile, I just loved Goma Pile when I was a kid. Goma Pile came out in 64, finished in 69, hugely popular show. Jim Neighbours, if you ever saw Jim Neighbours as Goma Pile, then you saw what he was like in real life. Quite amazing how he's just changing his face with a few, a little bit, he went from being quite a, or oh, how should I put this? He went from look, being quite a normal looking person to looking like a backwoods hillbilly. No offence intended to anyone. So anyway, when I picked up this box set, it was unopened at the time, it was still all sealed, every single episode, and when I look, it's not just every single episode of Goma Pile that was ever made in the history of the planet, but it also includes the very first episode, which actually wasn't Goma Pile USMC, it was the Andy Griffith Show, and so the very first episode was an episode of Andy Griffith, where Goma was in it, a small part, as a mechanic, Joined the Marines in the Goma Pile in the um, joined the joined the Marines in the Andy Griffith show and then went on to have Goma Pile USMC. This also contains, would you believe, I'm a big Lucille Ball fan. Won't get sidetracked there, but I'm a huge Lucille Ball fan, and it includes an episode of I Love Lucy that Goma he was in, not the star but Goma Pyle himself was in the episode of I Love Lucy because Lucy was in the Marines. So there you go, you say, oh, I haven't told you the most exciting part. Box set, every single episode, and some bonus episodes, sealed, never opened, it was $10. And when I went up to the counter thinking I'd got a bargain, the shop assistant turned to me and said, surprise, surprise, surprise. There's a 5% off. I mean, who? I don't like taking any discount from the Salvos because 10 bucks was cheap enough as it was. But then I was so shocked, I had to say, when the shop assistant told me there was 5% off, I just had to say, I can't hear you. And that brings me to Vince Carter. Now, if you've stuck with me this long, you are going to hear the best and saddest part of Goma Pile. And what that is, is that Vince Carter was the sergeant in Goma Pile. And in every episode, he always said, I can't hear you. And he was just a brilliant character. But did you know that Vince Carter was actually the actor Frank Sutton? Frank Sutton was born in 1923. And when he was just, uh, just about to leave his teens, just about to turn 20, the day of infamy had happened and Pearl Harbor had been attacked and filled with patriotism, he immediately went to join the Fair Income USMC, the Marines. And when he went to join the Marines in 43, he got told, very sorry, you are colorblind. We can't accept you into the Marines because of your colorblindness. He left the Marine recruiting section and went straight to the US Army, who took him. He joined the Army, and he then went straight to the Pacific Theater. You see this guy acting like an idiot, acting like a fool, making a fool of himself in Goma Pile USMC. You see him pulling faces and acting silly. And in the start of the Second World War, this man joined the US Army and went to the Pacific Theater. He's credited with 16. 16. Who would want to do one? He's credited with 16 separate invasions of the land on one of those, on one of those Pacific Islands. 16 times he was involved in a assault landing. 
He was wounded. He never, ever left combat. He received the purple star. He received the bronze star. He stayed in the army after the war till 46. What a damn hero that man was. I can't hear you making a fool of himself. And he was, all those years, in the Pacific theatre of World War II. So, he left with an honourable discharge in 46 and went and did some acting. Now, if you look at all the shows he was in, with a, some supporting role or other, you would be amazed. I can't even list them. Route 66, on and on and on and on and on it goes. All of the roles that he had. Then, in 64, he got the part to be in the Andy Griffith show to play the, the recruiting sergeant in an episode that was Goma was going to try and join the Marines. That all turned out to be so successful that not only was there a show then made, Goma Paul, USMC, but Frank Sutton kept the role of Vince Carter, the sergeant, and he kept that role right the way to the end of five highly successful seasons. So you say, what on earth happened? Why haven't we heard of him? I mean, he was such a great character in such a great show. So what happened? 69, the show ends. He, yes, he's going to have a budding career. He wants to go on into theatre. So he goes into theatre and within a few months preparing to do a acting job on the theatre to go on stage at 50 years of age he has a heart attack and dies so there you go the good and the bad the sad I bet you didn't know about that World War II US Army decorated Pacific oh, Pacific conflict soldier who then was quite happy to go and make himself look pretty silly as a Marine Sergeant on Gomapal USMC. So picking bargain for sure. We're currently working through it. Helen is not impressed. <laughs> What's that you say, Cody? I can't hear you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>